we think of cholesterol as circulating in the blood. People who study membranes know that cholesterol is an obligate part of human membranes. You have to have it in the membrane for the membrane to work right. So cholesterol, you know, it's been demonized, but it's necessary for life. What is not well understood is that we also store some cholesterol inside our fat cells, along with the triglyceride that's the fuel. But the only fuel in the fat cell we can burn for energy is the triglyceride. The cholesterol can't be burned for fuel. So as you m lose weight and you mobilize the triglyceride, the fat cell shrinks. That's a good thing. You want smaller fat cells. That makes you lighter in weight, right? But as the fat cell shrinks, not only is the triglyceride mobilized, but the free cholesterol that's dissolved in that fat droplet is also mobilized. So we, had, we noticed this when we were dealing with people with major weight loss. When we looked at people who lost 60 or more pounds of body weight, we frequently saw them, they first go on our weight loss diet, and their LDL cholesterol on average would go down somewhat. Not a lot, just somewhat. But after they passed 30 pounds, went to 40 pounds, to 50 pounds, their, their total cholesterol and LDL fraction of cholesterol started going up. And sometimes we would see dramatic rises in the LDL cholesterol. So we actually did, it sounds gruesome, but we did fat biopsies on people. We called it mini liposuction, so the patients lined up to have it done. And we'd take little bits of, of body fat from the thigh or from the abdomen and measure the amount of cholesterol they had stored. And if we looked at people repeatedly as they lost weight, we could show that when they first started losing weight, the fat cells would shrink and retain their cholesterol. But at some point, the cholesterol had to then be mobilized. And when we looked at the rate of fat loss, what we saw was that um, people were mobilizing up to 300 milligrams of free cholesterol from their fat cells that had to go into the circulation. That then has to be picked up by the liver, made into bile, and cleared through the gallbladder to get that cholesterol out of the body. And so that that rise in LDL cholesterol in, after, during major weight loss was a function of, of dumping from the body, clearing out from the body, a bunch of cholesterol that had been previously collected and retained. So the good news is, and there is good news at the end of this long story, that after people got to weight maintenance and held their weight stable, fat cells are no longer shrinking. And that very high LDL cholesterol that some of them had gotten because of weight loss came right back down. And then they ended up having gone from a relatively high to a lower LDL. So the net effect of, of the weight loss was a beneficial change in the lipoprotein profile. But it looked a little scary if you were just focusing just on the LDL cholesterol during the active weight loss phase.